What's going on guys, it's me, Giuliana Fan 2016 here, and today, we have another Roseville International Airport update for you guys, and this will be for the months of January 2024. Super excited to dive down in today's video, welcome to the first ever airport update for Roseville International Airport for 2024. We got some very interesting movements right here, and of course pretty much is everything usual at this point as we begin the new year. And yeah, looking forward to kick off this airport update to begin this year, of course. So that being said, we're gonna get started with our first aircraft pass per usual. And yeah, quite some interesting stuff. We got a very interesting visitor here in KRBL today. So without being said, we're gonna get into that like kind of like close to the end of this video. So yeah, but of course, we're gonna be starting at Gate Alpha 1 with our heavy. So without being said, everybody, let's get into our first aircraft to kick off this airport update for 2024. And let's begin here with our first aircraft with this United Airlines Boeing 787-9 parked here at Gate Alpha 1 and this aircraft is in the EVO Blue Livery and she had just arrived from Denver International Airport and she arrived here in Roseville at 2.24pm so this route is basically the Denver to San Francisco route so they would use like a 787-9 during the winter service I'm not sure if I want to try taking that route, but yet again, it really depends, but I would like to take that route, but hopefully at some point in the future, I'm not sure they're gonna like do this route again for like in the next couple of months during the winter season, the next winter season in that case, but it's really cool to have this model to really represent it. Of course, I don't feature this model too much in many of my airport updates since United 789s are made like for international destinations from SFO. But it's really cool to see a United 789 service domestically. So very interesting right there. And yeah, I don't think I talked about this in the intro. But yes, when you saw this video, the first clip, it was a different filming location. Now I'll explain why I'm filming right here in the end of this video. So in the conclusion part. But other than that, we do have this United Evil Blue 789 here at Gate Alpha 1. Next up, we have a couple of United mainlines right here. Let's begin at Gate Alpha 2 with the United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER in the Continental Retro Livery. And she had just arrived from Roseville International Airport. And she arrived from Denver at 5.42pm. Well, she arrived here in Roseville from Denver at 5.42pm. So this is like the afternoon flight, the late afternoon flight for this aircraft. And currently right now, she's about to get ready for a pushback. All it just needs is like a jet bridge to be disconnected to the aircraft. And this aircraft departed out of Roseville, so this aircraft departed out of Roseville. I'm trying to like reread it because like kind of messed up for the first try. So as I was saying, this aircraft departed out of Roseville at 5:38 a.m. and that's basically the next day. So the aircraft pretty much had a, like a layover, like not exactly a layover, just like a overnight parking. Yeah, this aircraft went from uh, overnight parking. And yeah, she's about to get ready for the flight to Denver the next day, early in the morning. And yeah, I haven't used this model in a very long time. I'm not sure when did I last use this model. But yeah, it's been a long time since I last used this Continental Retro Livery from United Airlines. The NG model looks like the NG version looks absolutely very nice. And I think NG did a very nice job on this aircraft right there. And I decided to feature this aircraft in this month's airport update because I did get to see this aircraft at Seattle Tacoma International Airport when I was at my hotel and that was during my Seattle winter trip last year. So really nice to see this aircraft again. Overall, I'm really glad to feature this aircraft again in this month's airport update. And over here at Gate Alpha 3, we have the United Airlines Airbus 1819 in the evil blue livery, excuse me. And she had just arrived from... I think KSBA, that's Santa Barbara Airport, so Santa Barbara and Municipal Airport, hang on guys, let me just like search this up, I do apologize if I'm kind of like searching this up right now, um, I am, actually, hang on, um, yes, I was correct, so Santa Barbara Municipal Airport, so she had just, she had just arrived from Santa Barbara at 3.17pm, and she's gonna be making the returning flight where she departed out of Roseville at 4.47pm, so, Really nice to feature this United A219. I hope Benji Malls can do it after they did the Delta A219 and the Spirit A219. But other than that, it's really nice to feature this Evil Blue United A219 from Gemini Jets in my collection. And yeah, one of the best malls from Gemini Jets right there. Skipping Gate Alpha 4 and moving on to Gate Alpha 5, we have this United Airlines Boeing 767 400ER in the Continental Globe livery. And she had just arrived from Honolulu International Airport or PHNL. And she landed here in Roseville very early in the morning at 5.53 a.m. So, really nice to see this aircraft arrive from the Honolulu flight. Of course, during around this time, 
5 a.m. It's kind of like still dark here at the airport, so she had just arrived. And currently, right now, the catering truck is like unloading the catering from the previous flight, and then the ULD loader is getting all like the ULD cans into like the the like the tractors, the trailers for the tractors to like push, like yeah, the tractors to like go back into like the inside the airport and then unload the bag so it could go into the baggage claim. So that's how it works right there. But it's really nice to feature this aircraft. Of course, I did feature this aircraft for the first time during the December 2023 update for KRVL. So it's really nice to feature this aircraft right there. So it's a nice model from Gemini Jets and I'm overall really happy to have this model in my collection. Moving on to this section, we have one new model that is going to be featured in this month's airport update. And that's going to be the United Airlines Boeing 757-200 in the Herart here, New York, New Jersey livery by NG models over here at Gate Alpha 6. Really fortunate to now have this model in my collection and it looks absolutely beautiful and this is the second iteration of this aircraft after they did one previously back in like I think it was April 2020 but I think around May or June like 2023 they did a second iteration of this model and I'm really fortunate to now have both of the her here aircraft in my collection and she's gonna be heading out to well she arrived here in Roseville at uh, hang on guys I uh, kind of like need to highlight something so she arrived here in Roseville at 11.12 a.m. after coming in from Boston Logan International Airport and she will be departing for Houston IAH, George Bush Intercontinental Airport and she departed out of Roseville at 1.35 p.m. I wish I could go for like at least a JFK route or a Newark, well not exactly JFK since that's Delta but Newark to be exact so but other than that, Really nice to feature this mall once again, and the NG version looks absolutely very nice. And Gemini just did this before, well they did this model, but I'm glad that NG did a second iteration of the California and the New York, New Jersey livery. So really fortunate and proud of their efforts right there. And over here at Get Alpha 7, we have the Delta Airlines Boeing 737-800 with the World Champion Brave sticker. Of course, I featured this mall in last month's airport update. And yeah, very nice aircraft, and yeah, the Gemini Jets model looks okay. I mean, like, the 737 mold from Gemini is a bit controversial. Not as too controversial as what the A320 family has, but I think NG737 mold is, like, okay. That's all I can really say. It's, it's a good mold from Gemini Jets either way. And she had just arrived from Salt Lake City International Airport at 8.56 a.m., and she's going to be making the return flight to Salt Lake City at 10.25 p.m. Not staring out, guys, so... Uh, she's gonna be making the returning flight to Salt Lake City, and she departed out of Roseville at 10.25 a.m. I had to, like, re read that, because, like, I kind of like, messed up on it, but, well, yeah, it's a very interesting route. And, yeah, I think during the winter season, it's a 738 from Delta Airlines, but I'm really glad to feature this model again. Of course, the Wi-Fi dome, the placement of the Wi-Fi dome for this model is the only downside to this model, but... Other than that, I think Gemini Jets still did a great job on this model and I'm really glad to have it in my collection. And over here at Gate Alpha 8, we have this Delta Airlines Airbus A330-300. And currently right now, she is like, well she is loading the passengers for the outbound departure. But she had just arrived from Minneapolis St. Paul and she landed here in Roosevelt International Airport at 6.05pm. And she'll be making the returning flight, well not exactly returning flight to Minneapolis, but she's going to be making the next flight into Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport and she departed out of Roseville at 9.39 p.m. So as you can pretty much see, the passengers are being boarded, the ULDs are being like loaded up into the cargo hold, the extra stuff like bags and other items are going to be loaded up into the bulk area of the aircraft. And yeah, really interesting stuff right there and the fuel truck is almost done with like fueling the aircraft for its departure flight to Atlanta. But other than that, it's still a nice mall from NG Models, and yeah, I'm really glad to have this AG30 in my collection. And of course, I did see this aircraft registration November 806, November Whiskey at Portland, so I decided to feature this model in this month's airport update. And overall, I think NG did a great job on this model, and I'm looking forward to see if they can do a re-release. Because this was the 2021 release of the AG30, and by now it's already sold out at this point. So yeah, hopefully NG can do a re-release of this aircraft right here. And over here at Gate Alpha 9, we have Breeze Airways under Ember E195, substituting for Ember E190, which Gemini Jets has not made yet, so I hope they can do a uh, Ember E190 from Breeze Airways somewhere in 2024, so I'm just kind of like waiting on that patiently. 
but we're gonna be substituting this with the Ember E195 since it's almost like similar to the E190, it's just stretched out even more. So she had just arrived from San Bernardino International Airport at somewhere around 6 to 1 p.m. So that's the scheduled arrival time for this aircraft, or that's basically the arrival time for this aircraft. So at least Breeze Airways did not like, it wasn't like a delayed flight. Of course, Breeze Airways, sometimes they do struggle with like delayed departures and on-time rates, but with this flight right here, at least that's not a delayed flight. So that's a good effort from Breeze Airways right there. I just hope they can like make that less too often and therefore have Breeze Airways have on-time flights. So yeah, really nice to see that from Breeze Airways and Breeze Airways still continues their services here in Roseville International Airport. Of course, in San Francisco International in real life. But of course, this is KRBL, so it's a fictional airport, but it's really nice to see Breeze Airways here at KRBL. And here's the final three aircraft in the terminal section. Let's begin here at Gate Alpha 10 with this Delta Airlines Boeing 767-300ER. And she had just arrived from New York's JFK International Airport and she landed here in Roseville at 2.10 p.m. And currently right now, she's getting the passengers boarded up for the return leg. So she's going to be returning to JFK International Airport and she departed out of Roseville at 4.27 p.m. So yeah, really nice to feature this Delta 767. This is the second iteration, the second release from 2015. And I'm eager to see if I could try to at least get the 2023 iteration. The guessing, I'm guessing that's the fourth release, if I were to take a guess. The fourth release of the Delta 767 300ER from Gemini's, I think it was the July 2023 releases. Kind of like summer around the summer period is when the aircraft was released. So I'm eager to see if I can try to at least get that model for my Delta 767. I'll still keep this model though because like, yes, I did see this aircraft in Honolulu, but I also saw that aircraft, the fourth release of the Gemini Jet 767 from Delta Airlines in Seattle Tacoma International Airport back in 2021. So I'll also be getting this one too, but when, for the meantime, this aircraft, the third release, not third release, that's from 2018. The second release will do for now, and I'm gonna see if I can try to get the second one in the future. And moving on here at Get Off of 11, we have this Delta Connection Ember ERJ-175 with enhanced wingless. Once again, thank you so much Gemini Jets for this model right here. And using that aircraft to my fullest potential along with the Delta 767. Of course, their summer service, like, not summer service, the summer service from SFO, yeah, the summer service from SFO to JFK will be swapped between like a 757. So the winter service is mostly for the Boeing 767 and the summer ser service, whew, for the 757, so really nice to feature this aircraft, of course using the 767 to my fullest, fullest potential, excuse me. And of course like this Delta 175, I'm also going to be using that to my fullest potential for many updates to come, that's all I can really say. So she had just arrived from Seattle Tacoma International Airport and she landed here in Roseville at 3.41pm and I think that time was actually the time where my Delta E-175 flight landed. So. Of course, I did flew on a Delta E-175 from Seattle to Sacramento during the end of my Seattle trip for 2023, the winter trip in this case. And yeah, another fun flight on board the Delta E-175. So, so I've flown on the Delta E-175 four times, but for that route, that leg from Seattle to Sacramento, that was my third flight. So really nice to see this aircraft come into fruition here in KRBL. And overall, Gemini Jets did a wonderful job on this model and I'm really happy that they finally made it, they finally made it and it's a perfect addition to my Delta Airlines regional fleet and this airport update in general. So really nice to see right there. And of course she departed out of another regional service, so another regional route. So she departed out of Roseville and she's gonna be heading out to LAX where she departed here in KRBL at 5 36 p.m. So it's really nice to feature this aircraft right there. So once again, thank you so much, Todd Michaels and Gemini Jets for featuring this model and Elliot Epstein for Make it a small, well, telling the Gemini Jets team to make this small in one for one scale. And it's a very nice mall for the retro, not retro, the regional collectors. And yeah, it's a very nice mall from Delta Airlines right there, from Gemini Jets. So really nice to see it right there, and I'm really glad to have it. And over here at Get Apple 12, we have this Delta, <laughs> Delta Connection, not exactly Delta Connection, but we have the Air Canada Express, but Marinade CIJ 900. I wish it was Delta Connection, but this is Air Canada's gate. And she had just arrived from Vancouver International Airport and she landed here in Roseville at 11.50 a.m. 
and she's gonna make the returning flight. She's gonna make the returning flight to Vancouver International Airport, and she departed out of Roseville at 12:50 p.m. Now, yes, Air Canada service to Vancouver is still going strong for Sacramento, and it's nice to feature this aircraft in this airport update. Now, I'm not sure. I haven't heard any like updates about that Toronto service if it's gonna like return or not, but it's still on hold. And in addition to that, you're curious on why that Delta E175 is at gate off 11, even though that is an Air Canada Air Canada gate. Yeah, yeah, Air Canada gate. Almost like my thoughts are like I'm almost out of like speaking right there. Not sure why I can't talk, but it is what it is. So as I was saying, so this Delta E175 that's supposed to be an Air Canada gate. But because that Toronto service is still put on hold, Delta will be taking over that gate until the Toronto service on the Air Canada A220 comes back. So that's probably the reason why you're seeing this Delta E175 at gate off of 11 and a gate off of 12, a Air Canada CRJ900. But under that, it is what it is. And once again, once that Air Canada Toronto service comes back, then Delta and Air Canada are going to have to make other plans, including Caribbean. So. Yeah, really nice to see right there, and overall, really nice to feature these aircraft in this portion of the airport update. Yeah. So that's going to be it for the terminal section, and we got some aircrafts that are currently taxiing right now, and we're one aircraft that is landing right now. So with that being said, let's move on to the taxi portion of this airport update. Taxiing to the apron is the Delta Airlines Boeing 737-900ER, and she had just arrived from Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, where she arrived here in Roseville at 11 o'clock a.m. So I'm not sure if this was an on-time arrival or an early arrival for this aircraft right there, but it's really nice to see this aircraft here in KRBL. And yeah, a really nice model from NG, and of course, I have two Delta 739s, so in case there can be two Delta 737-900ERs in one airport update, then I have a second one right there. So really nice to feature this aircraft, and I'm guessing she might be taking Gate Alpha 6 after that United 757 is done with all of its like caterings and like its ground service stuff right there. And yeah, but other than that, she'll be waiting for a couple of seconds or not, not like 30 minutes or so, but really nice to feature this aircraft once again. And she's gonna be parking soon after she had just arrived from Atlanta Hartsfield, Jackson. And now we begin our departures. Beginning here, we had its United Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 in the Continental Globe livery. Number 3 for departure, she's gonna be heading out to LAX out of all places, and she departed out of Roseville at 2.38pm, so I think United would use like a 737 for their SFO to LAX routes, so it's like a hub to hub connection for this aircraft right here, so I think they would use a 737-900ER, a 737-800, possibly a 737-MAX-8, and a 737-MAX-9, and here is the 737-MAX-9 leg. So it's really nice to feature this aircraft, and let's see what next one has to offer for that route right there. Maybe it might be a Max 8, Max 9, 800, 900, who knows, but we'll just have to wait and see. Number 2 for departure, we have this United Airlines Boeing 737 Max 8, and she's going to be heading out to Austin Bergstrom International Airport, and she departed out of Roseville at 1.06pm. So, really nice that the Austin service is going well for United out of San Francisco. And yeah, of course, this is fictional since it's with Roseville, but United would operate a San Francisco to Austin route using like a Max 8. Well, sometimes it's using a Max 8, but it can also be like a 739, I guess. But it's kind of like, I think I checked, because I think this, like I recorded these somewhere like, recorded these routes somewhere around like November or December. So it was using a Max 8 around that time. So really nice to feature this aircraft right there. And Gemini Jets did an okay job on this model. But under that, it's still a nice model for my collection. And number one for departure is this United Airlines Boeing 777-200. And currently she's holding short on the runway and she's going to be heading out to Newark Liberty International Airport. And she departed out of Roseville at 1.57pm. So it's really nice to utilize this aircraft for that Newark route. And yeah, it's like a transcontinental route for this aircraft since they would use a 222 for the San Francisco to Newark service. So yeah, they would sometimes use a 200, like a regular 200 or a 200 ER. But for this time, it's a 777-200. One of their 222s is like, well, some of their 222s are painted in the evil blue livery and some are just still in the continental globe livery or sometimes have like a wardrobe malfunction on the engines. But other than that, it's nice to like utilize this aircraft right there and it's a perfect model from Gemini Jets. I hope NG can actually do this model because like, don't get me wrong, I think the Gemini Jets version is okay, but I do want to replace it in favor of the NG version so I can like 
step up on my mall plane collecting and have a much better 777 mold in the future. So yeah, really nice to see right there. And we have one aircraft landing and this aircraft, I think I got a lot of things to say. But we got one final aircraft to take a look at before we conclude this airport update. So without being said, let's get into that aircraft that is landing on the runway right now. And the final aircraft to finish off this month's airport update is a rather interesting diversion right here. So, Air France, out of all places, decided to divert here to Roseville International Airport once again. So, she has arrived from Paris Charles de Gaulle, and originally she was going to be going to San Francisco International Airport, but they reported that weather in San Francisco was crap, so loads of visibility at KSFO right now, so... They were kind of like in a holding pattern until they decided to come to like Roseville International Airport and divert to KRBL as per usual. So yeah, quite interesting right there. And reason why I featured this is because I did get to see Air France again at Sacramento International Airport back in early December. So I decided like do this and this was exactly a year ago when I premiered like well uploaded my KRBL airport update for January 2023. Exactly one year later, she has returned for the January 2024 update. So, what a ton of events right there, right? <laughs> it's very interesting. Quite a ton of events right there. But yeah, really interesting to see Air France here at KRVL once again. And yeah, rather interesting diversion. Of course, they return here a couple of hours later. But it was very cool to see another Air France diversion at KSMF. So, I ended up seeing Air France at SMS two times and it was quite fitting because like for 2023 I saw an Air France diversion so it was during the beginning of the year and then to pretty much end off 2023 I saw another Air France diversion again so really cool and what a sequence of events that was so the first diversion I saw that plane had like the newer title so the bolder the bigger title so this is my triple two right there. Of course, I'm substituting that for a triple three. NG should probably like make that. That's like NG should like do a NG triple three at some point because I would like to feature a NG triple seven, like an Air France triple seven in my collection soon. But we do have this triple two, and I'm really not much gonna play, complain about it. It's a Phoenix small, but it's still good either way. But other than that, so yeah, Air France diverting here to KRVL. What an eternal of event that was. So. Yeah, really nice to see this diversion right here, and I bet many of like the spotters were really into like that Air France because like there's still no international terminal as of late to like suit these like international airlines. So it was cool to see this diversion once again. So that's gonna pretty much do it for this airport update for January 2024. So yeah, without being said, I'm gonna go into the conclusion portion of this video, and we're gonna give you my or I'm gonna give you my overall assessment on KRVL for 2024. And what is going to be looking forward to KRVL for 2024 in general. So without being said, let's get into that conclusion right now. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this month's airport update for Roseville International Airport for January 2024. A nice way to kick off the new year right here with this very interesting lineup of airplanes right there. And yeah, KRVL, they're kind of like starting to get a little subside down after a crazy December 2023 Christmas holiday thing. And yeah, really nice to see some interesting traffic patterns right there and all like the load factors here in KRVL. Of course, the very highlight, the most famous highlight for this month's airport update has got to be this Air France diversion for the Boeing 777 right there. Of course, I featured this model right here to really like represent my catch for the Air France 333 at SMF back in December. So really cool to see another Air France diversion right there. And yeah, let's go over, well, before we go over to like what KRBL has for 2024, I do want to tell you guys that this filming location is rather different. So I think I talked about this in the beginning that I'm going to mention that in this airport update, like the, the end of this airport update. So the reason why I'm filming right here, so I'm currently in like the living quarters, like kind of like the living quarters of my house right now. So I would usually film in my, like, film in my room. However, I have three lights, so I have two studio lights so like two lights and one ring light which I'm um, you're kind of like seeing I'm not sure if I want to mention it but here let me just mention, mention it right here so this is my ring light right there so I would also use this apparently that's the only source of studio lighting I have because 
those two lights I have, well, previously had, I think they were UV Breeze studio lights, I think. But I'm not sure how I pronounce that, but those are like two studio lights. They're like square, like rectangular lights. Those apparently broke, so unfortunately I have all them broken. So in a, like an alternate plan, I would have to like go for here since there's kind of like a little bit of light. I mean, as you can see, there's kind of like a little bit of like sun, like natural sunlight. So I decided to like go for that out of all places. And then, yeah, so but on that, I'm not gonna give up and pre-record this airport update for you guys. And yeah, I do want to get all these airport updates set up so I can at least schedule them. So yeah, really nice to see right there. Of course, we got a couple of new malls like this right here in New York, New Jersey, literally from United Airlines, and some other returning models from the December update like the Delta 738 and the United 764 and the beautiful Delta 175. Let me just zoom in a little closer. Take a look at that beauty right there. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, so Caribbean has kind of like a strong 2024 so far so really nice to see some stuff right there of course um there might be new service that might be happening for krbl and of course maybe terminal 2 might start its operations for 2024 but we'll just have to wait and see it's kind of like on a future hold right now but so far from like i'm trying to like make sure i get at least parts of like concourse b done so i can at least get some more airplanes right here but regardless enough i still want to like do get off of one like concourse a right here or of course the united's and delta's right there and a couple of air canada's and breeze airways right there let me zoom in into breeze airways again well here's what you get for here's what i can give you guys for breeze airways so breeze airways is here at get alpha 9 of course this is a delta and breeze gate and of course this is a united and delta gate as well so kind of like swapping in between airlines right there but other than that really nice to see what 2024 has to offer KR, for krvl of course, KRVL will be two years for this year, but that's going to be on the April update. And yeah, I'm just super excited to see what KRVL's load factor has to offer for many of these months to come. But other than that, we're just going to like see what KRVL has and hopefully I can finish Concourse B. And hopefully I can at least get Concourse B up and running by at least like quarter of two of 2024. So hopefully that comes true and I hope you guys are excited for it as well. But other than that... We'd love to see it for our KRBL airport, and hopefully we can see more to come as we continue on with 2024 as months progress. So yeah, we'd love to see it, and hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So that is going to be it for this airport, airport update for KRBL, so that's going to do it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon. And don't forget to check out all my other Roseville International Airport updates by clicking on that playlist. And you can check out all my KRVL airport updates from there. So you can check out all my airport updates from the beginning to now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So yeah, I think I, did I say that? Oh yeah, oh, hang on. I'm trying to make sure I get my intro correct. Okay, so I'm just making sure. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.